Well, starting our tour of Oslo today, and it is a rainy, rainy day here. Y ahora estamos pasando por el puerto de Oslo. You see a tall building, which is the Munch Museum. This side is designed by a Spanish architect. Nacional. To the left, you have the National designed to look like a glacier. Un edificio también muy interesante. Diseñado por un arquitecto por Noruego of the railway station. It's the main railway station. Y a la derecha tenemos la estación central de los trenes. All right, here's the old harbor. Got out of the bus. Actually, get some uh, decent video. It's not raining too much. Just looks like it's raining when you're in the bus. Over here is uh, one of the buildings where uh, they uh, award the Nobel Peace Prize. I think it's the low one there. For uh, all you uh, internet people out there, you've got a, got a troll. You can come here and get the, on the re official certified troll cruise. There's a castle sitting up here, guarding the harbor. I was looking out onto the fjord, and uh, Oslo sits at the end of a 110 kilometer uh, long fjord. Not really nice. Now in the sculpture park here in Oslo, in the rain. <laughs> This is the uh, Circle of Life uh, statue here in the center of Oslo. Um, and there are around this, this side, this is uh, on the side here, there are like 36 scenes from daily life, all nudes. And uh, this was made out of one solid piece of granite that was uh, carved up. In the, This is a uh, fountain that represents the burdens of life, uh, done in bronze. Uh, usually it is a fountain with water, but uh, there's been a drought here in Norway. Wouldn't know it today, because it's wet, but uh, uh, our guide told us that uh, there has been uh, less rain here in 120 years, and uh, they have turned off all of the fountains in, uh, in Norway. I mean, in, uh, in Oslo. Well, good morning. Today we are in uh, Oslo, Norway, and uh, our little tour we got in late last night, about uh, 8.30 or so, and uh, our hotel was sort of in a commercial area, and uh, we sort of scrambled to find some food, but uh, our tour today is a very, very quick couple of hour <laughs> tour through Oslo. On a bus, for the on, most part. Yeah. But, so it's a whirlwind two-hour tour of Oslo and then we're going to be moving on to Stockholm <laughs> and traveling all day. But we are getting to walk through this giant park, this giant sculpture park here in Oslo. I think it's called something like Vengenem Park. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and, and it's all sculptures by this wonderful artist uh, with the theme of the Tree of Life. And uh, we've already seen, if you can point it that away, Bob, behind us, um, that monolith. And it's then the, the circle of life. Exactly. Yeah, that's the circle of life. And then here is the uh, the problems or the uh, the struggles of life. Yeah, it's how all these trees represent the tree of life, kind of, and how different people bear the burdens of life, whether they let them defeat them or whether they hold them up with strength. And uh, looking at all the different uh, faces and bodily expressions, it's really fascinating. So this is an unexpectedly interesting part of our rainy day tour. Yeah, but there, uh, as we were taking the bus tour around, I saw some interesting things in Oslo that I would have liked to have spent some time in. Yeah, I'd so, like so, to come so, back. So it's a little disappointing that we're not spending more time here, but uh, you know, in our whirlwind 11-day 
uh, tour of Scandinavia and four capitals here. It's, uh, I guess, I guess this is all they can afford with uh, with Oslo. Well, and, and you know, we're trying to say this is a taste of all these different places, and then we'll be able to figure out where we want to go back. So number one, we definitely want to go back to Oslo. And we want to go back to Bergen too, but uh, definitely Oslo. Yep. This is a little unexpected here. End of September. These flowers looking so beautiful. This is the most popular sculpture in the park. Really? So as we're making our way through the park, we go through the bridge. And there's 58 bronze sculptures on the sides of this bridge. Again, representing the happiness and struggles in life. Took a little stop on our way to Stockholm from uh, Oslo this morning. It's a town called Orbeo, Orbeo. I'll tell you a little later. But here is the castle in the middle of the city. Yeah, quite beautiful here. Fortress, fort to uh, protect Sweden, actually. Uh, a Stockholm from uh, multiple wars with uh, like Denmark, right? Yep. Yep. But now it's a palace. Now it's a palace. It has a museum, administrative offices, event offices, I mean event spaces, all kinds of stuff. It's uh, pretty interesting to me that here in Scandinavia where it's cold, the, uh, the sculptors have a uh, thing for, uh, for nudes. I don't, I don't quite cut that. And once again, looks like there's uh, things to see around here, but uh, we're limited. We have uh, one half hour left, time enough to find the bathroom. That's the original idea right here.